Hello, I'm Scotty Meyer and you are watching I've Got a Question. And today's question actually came in a written form. So uh, I really appreciate you guys reaching out to us and asking us questions. You're being impacted by our content and we welcome that. So today's I've Got a Question says, I'm an artist, an actor, and I like stories. And if I'm going to make a fantasy TV series, I want to make it sure that the stuff is as on point as possible. I need to shape the story around the Bible, not the other way around. So here is my question. What is some of the things that I should consider when producing a piece of media or a piece of art? What are the most important things to consider when making a show that parallels the Great Controversy or the Bible? Now, when we talk about the Great Controversy, that's really the war between Christ and Satan and which one's going to win. You know, I, I used to look at art as something that was just fun, and the more that I really dove into filmmaking and understanding what does it mean to be an artist, I, I started recognizing that all art is meant to influence somebody. And uh, nobody makes a piece of art and uh, doesn't want anybody to be affected by it. So once I kind of understood it from that perspective, I began to kind of look at everything that I was actually making. I went to film school and um, learned how to make movies, uh, but when I looked at the types of things that I was actually working on, it really didn't do humanity much good. In fact, the things that I was highlighting were a lot of terrible things in society and terrible things in life. So I came back into a relationship with God and uh, I was still an artist, still wanted to make creative projects. And so I began to say, okay, well, whatever I'm doing, how do I want people, what do I want people to walk away with? And that really changed my focus and my perspective and how I was going about each creative process. So at this point in my life, uh, I am very interested in making art that influences people just to consider uh, a relationship with God or to highlight the beauty of the things that God has created. Um, so here's a couple pieces of advice for you. I don't think necessarily everything has to say Jesus or have all this Christianity terms in it, but I think it should be in line with your Bible. Um, so what are some of the concepts that would be in line with the Bible? I don't necessarily believe that every single thing has to say Jesus this or Christianity that, but I think for the most part, what is that person walking away from your art piece with? Now, if they're walking away with the inspiration of, man, I really want to be a better person in my life, or I want to, you know, I should do more uh, to treat people nicer, or, or something like that, then it would be in line with your Bible, and it would speak according to the way that the Bible would speak. But it doesn't, I don't believe, necessarily have to have that exact verbiage. It can be a metaphor or a parallel. So obviously, the closer that you understand the Bible or you study the Bible, the more you can incorporate those ideas into your piece of art. So that's what I would suggest. I'm not scared of creativity or, or even, even a story that would be a allegory as long as your end goal is really having people walk away with something that points them closer to God. If the Bible speaks against certain things, such as magic and sorcery, and uh, C.S. Lewis is a great example for this because I believe that he used a lot of magic and sorcery in sort of the Chronicles of Narnia beginning. And the Bible speaks actually not to use those kind of things. So how do we rectify that? I think it would be safe to say that if the Bible says don't do this, don't add that into your, your art piece or your project. Um, and that doesn't mean that you can't tell a story that actually has something to do with magic and sorcery. The Bible has stories in there where people dealt with magic and sorcery, but the end goal was, here's what happens when people get involved in this. And that, I believe, is an okay use of that type of a thing, as long as you're not using those elements and promoting it as this could be a good thing. I will give you this piece of advice. Pray about it. Ask God if this is the type of way he wants you to use your creativity, and you'll be surprised. He will answer you if you ask him.
One thing you might think about while getting involved with other creatives, um, I, I like collaborating with lots of different people. I think everybody uh, is, is got a talent and a skill. And filmmaking is often like uh, making music. You have different people that can play dis different instruments. And as you come together, you can make something beautiful. If you're really wanting to make something that is very specifically and specially spiritually orientated, be careful to know who you're getting involved with and if you really are making an allegory for for something that you believe in um, just make sure everybody is on the same page because you can really start adding people to your creative process that can really steer your your yourself in a, in a different direction and it may sometimes take you in a in a direction you didn't want to go so once again, I believe that you should pray about each and every person that gets involved with that project and, and really just openly uh, uh, tell everybody what it is that you're wanting to achieve with this project and make sure that they are all in agreement of that same direction. Do you remember the story in Matthew 5 when Jesus told the story about the salt? He said, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, what is it good for? It's to be thrown out and trampled upon the feet. See, I believe as a Christian and as a believer in God, you are the salt of the earth. You are the one that makes life more flavorful, makes it make sense. And if you don't do that for other people and you make it more confusing, I believe that's like what Jesus was saying with it's losing its saltiness. It's losing its ability to enhance the flavor. And I believe like 1 Corinthians 10, 31 says, everything that you do, you should do to the glory of God. Thanks again for watching. I've got a question. And remember, if you've got something that you want us to answer, you have a variety of ways that you can get to us. You can find us on social media. You can comment on this video in YouTube, or you can directly email us your question or send it to us in the mail. And we thank you guys for watching.